Hello. To set up IVCS, we're going to need at least five things. We will need the base body, the IVCS version of that base body, the IVCS custom skeleton, the IVCS unique racial bodies, and finally we will need anamnesis. I will put links in the description for where to download anamnesis as well as the IVCS custom skeleton and racial bodies. And finally, a link to the IVCS text guide, because while I am going to be going over the basic setup for a single body type, you actually can combine multiple body types together. And the text guide goes over how to do that, depending on which bodies you're using. And it will tell you the priorities you need to set in order to get those working. So for a single body though, the priorities we need to set up are, we need the base body at priority zero, we need the custom skeleton next at priority one, the racial bodies at priority two, and finally the IVCS version of our base body at priority three. After those are set, we need to look at some of these settings here. What we want to do is match up our parameters from our base body with the IVCS version of the body. So for hands, we don't really have a choice. We have default, so those are checked. Here though, I use the small chest and the small legs, so I have those checked. You will of course want to match yours up accordingly. And then finally we have feet, but again, our really our only choice is default so those are checked next up is the unique racial bodies here you can disable the small clothes or emperors if you only want to pose in one of them that is up to you however the main thing I want to bring your attention to is this NPC section if I mouse over this you will see it says they are disabled by default because it can cause scaling issues. So I leave them unchecked, but if you want to mess around with NPCs, then you may want to check those. With that out of the way, we are done in Penumbra and we can go ahead and open up Anamnesis. So if this is your first time opening Anamnesis, you will be greeted with this screen, which is the setting screen. So you can play around with things here if you want to. Color, theme, you can set, you know, your default author for screenshots, things like that. But what we need to do is click on the button to the right of that that has the initials of our character. So we will click that. And it'll start on this top tab here. Here, you're, you can change clothing and racial settings and stuff like that. However, if you are using the Glamour plugin, this will not work because if you try and change any of the clothing here, Glamour is just going to change it back. So it's up to you if you want to use one or the other. With that out of the way, what we want to do now is click on this third button here that's the pose section and by default it will be on this screen here so as you can see it says posing is only available during g-pose so we will go ahead and enter g-pose like so and now you will see that it says we need to turn on pose mode so that is this little toggle up here so we will turn that on and now you can see we have a skeleton but this does not show the IVCS skeleton. In order to see that, we need to click this third box here, the 3D view, and then we will scroll down quite a ways until we start seeing these IV bone names. If you see these, 
you have done things correctly and IVCS is now set up and you are free to use it as you please. So I hope that this was helpful and you can start playing around and have some fun with poses.